Hey guys, what's up? Once again, Sean T here in my Elantra N. Just wanted to touch base. I've uh, been able to drive the car a little bit more for the past few days. Currently have 919 kilometers on it. Uh, I am in Canada, so I do go by kilometers. The first thing I want to touch on is gas consumption. I would say technically the car's not broken in yet, but uh, mixed driving, I get an average of about 8.4 liters per 100 kilometers based on the uh, computer in the car that's been showing me. So, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, obviously, when you drive it hard and you have it in the end mode, that's going to be affected dramatically, but uh, I do about 100 kilometers a day on a highway, so I just leave it in eco mode, and uh, that's good. So 8.4 now with our stupid gas prices, yeah, not uh, not helping too much, but. That's a whole new subject, whole other subject. Then the other thing I wanted to discuss was um, a few small things I don't like. One is where they put the mute button on the steering wheel. It's in, built into where your volume is and your volume is an up and down button, let's call it. Um, I got a old driver in front of me doing like 70 and a So yeah, every time you, the way you rest your thumb on it, and you go to push up the volume or push down the volume, it's very, very easy to mute it. And the first few times I was kind of like, um, why did my music go off? Realize that's where the mute button is. So just a small little thing, not really that big of a deal. Build quality so far, I was a little bit concerned If you look at my other videos, I'm a pretty big Dodge guy. I've been a big Dodge guy pretty much my whole life. And uh, I've owned a lot of the C-Class cars. Charger, Challenger, Magnums. And, uh, you know, going into a Hyundai, I was a little bit concerned about build quality. And uh, so far, everything's good. I know that there's another YouTuber that's got an Elantra and he kind of was pointing out a few things that were wrong with his uh, a nick in his seat and stuff like that so far I haven't seen any of that uh, the N on his floor mat is coming up mine, mine are stitched in so I don't know how that's happening on his um, he is in America so maybe they use different floor mats I don't know but I don't have any issues like that No creaks, rattles, anything like that. It's it, it feels very, very, very solid. And uh, again, I mean, I only have shy of a thousand kilometers on it, so long ways to go. But it was definitely a concern of mine. So if it's a concern of yours, uh, I would say put that to rest because uh, there's no issues here, at least on mine. A uh, little bit of orange peel in the paint, again, to be expected. Well, here in Canada, with freight and everything, it's about a $40,000 car, so I mean, all that's to be expected. Um, there's something else. Oh, this is something I definitely don't like. I haven't been able to figure out, and I don't want to say whether you can or you can't, but based on my experience at this point, you can't leave your car running and walk away from it with your fob and lock it. You can't lock it from the door, and you can't lock it from your fob, which kind of sucks because when it's cold out and I want to run into the store, I like to leave my car running. I'm just running it for literally 30 seconds to a minute, and uh, if I want to leave my car running, I can't do that. So that's a little bit of a pet peeve. Uh, that is a bigger one for me. It is something I do. But hey, again, it, it's, you know. I don't know what their 
reasoning is, but obviously there's there's a reason. So yeah, that is what it is. Um, it is a bit of a bumpy ride. Again, to be expected. My biggest thing is I do drive on a road that's got lots and lots and lots of like uh, horizontal cracks in it. So you can pr pretty you can feel it pretty often. Uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but at this point I'm I'm good, I'm comfortable, I'm fine. The seats are extremely comfortable. Uh, obviously, it'd be nicer seating position to. Uh, sorry, my arm's getting sore here. It'd be a nicer seating position to, you know, if it did have power seats, but again, I don't expect that in a seat like this. It is a performance car, I understand that, and uh, I'll put up with the small little quirks it's got in order to get the performance that I want out of it. And yeah, please guys, uh, that's it for now. Please hit that subscribe button, I really want to get my subs up. I would really, really appreciate it. I want to bring you more content. I'd like to uh, do a lot more to this car and have you guys follow me. And I'm going to start tracking the car. And any other ideas I can come up with, uh, I'd like to bring you guys along. So please hit that subscribe button. Cars and caffeine. Likes, dislikes, whatever makes you happy. Get the algorithm up. You guys have a great day. Take care.